Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing extremely well. First of all, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed my channel till now, then guys do consider subscribing my channel. It will really motivate me to create more such content for you and you can follow me on other platforms as well. The link is there in the description itself. So guys, today is day four. I hope that you have completed the, uh, the previous three questions that we have already discussed from the arrays and hashing topic. So make sure to first complete them and then hope on to this question. So this one is a medium level question. The previous three were the easy one, right? So as usual, first of all, we'll be understanding the problem statement, the logic part, and then we'll be having a look on the coding part. So the problem says group anagrams, right? So uh, I believe we have already solved a problem previously, which was regarding anagram. So now most of you must be aware what exactly an anagram is, but again, I will repeat it for you. So we have been given an array of strings STRs, group the anagrams together. You can return the answer in any order, right? So what is an anagram? An anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase, typically using all the original letters exactly once. So let's understand with the help of an example. So here we are having the uh, array of strings, STRs, right? So it is containing eat, t, 10, 8, NAT, bat. So what we have, we have been supposed to do is that we have to combine or we have to group the anagrams together. Now, for example, here, if you will see EAT and TEA, they both are anagram and ATE as well, because you can see the frequency of characters is is same in 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 these three strings eat tea and ate so they are what they are what they are anagrams like if you will rearrange the letters right so eat let's say we have so if yeah, if i will rearrange this t as well so eat we can have so similarly here as well we can have eat right so these three strings are what anagrams so we will group them together likewise if you will see TAN and here we have NAT. So if we if we will rearrange this one, so we can have TAN, right? So the frequency of the characters is same. So this is also anagram, right? So this these two strings, so we'll group them together. BAT, so for BAT, there is no other pair or other string exists, right? So we will take it separately individually, BAT. Here, empty string if you are having, so you have to return just empty uh, string like that and uh, just one character, if, uh, one string is there so you have to return that itself i hope the problem statement is clear to you what exactly we have been supposed to do and here you can see the constraint as well that uh strs of i means each uh, element that you are having in the given array so that will be consisting of lowercase english characters only the length has been specified of each uh, a string that is existing in in the given array and the array length as well they have specified so what would be a possible way? I mean, first of all, try to think like how basically we can solve this problem. Just just think from yourself, okay, how how we can solve this problem? What could be the approach? And again, as if I have mentioned in my previous videos as well, even if you are not able to think anything, it's not like you have to give up. Don't start self-doubting. Uh, don't think that, okay, this is not something for me. You can do what? Watch the video, watch all the approaches that we are discussing and next time uh, you understood the approach implement it by yourself first of all after understanding the approaches and after a few days try to do the implementation and come up with the approach after a few days by yourself without watching the video right i'm mentioning this thing because i have also gone through the same phase the self-doubting phase and the self uh, this thing phase that okay this uh, this is something that i won't be able to do or like it that's why i'm saying that you don't have to give up even if you are not able to come up, that's totally fine. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So, first thing is that we all know that in Enneagram, the frequency of the characters is same. So, what if I do, let's say, uh, let me write here. This example only will take. This example only we will take. Right. Let's say we are having... Uh, this this is string right this this array we are having array of strings we are having so uh what can i do is that i can make a key out of the string given okay see for an anagram 
the number of frequency of characters is same let's say if i if i am taking this eat and uh, what i'm saying is that let's let's make a key out of it let's do this thing that if i sort all the enneagrams right eat if i will sort what i will get aet right if i will sort in alphabetical ascending order similarly ate if you will sort again you will get aet similarly tea you will sort so we will get aet so on sorting you can see the characters are in the same way so what we can do is that we can take that sorted string as a key okay we can take the sorted string as a key so now uh, see we have this key so next thing is what you can do is that this is the key now check the elements the check the elements in the array if on sorting we are getting the similar element means the similar key it means it is what an anagram so let's say we are having an empty hash map understand in this film as of now we are basically we will take an hash map right where entry where key would be what a string right key would be a sorted string and what would be the value because here you can see we can have just one string also two string also three strings also so values would be value would be what value associated to map would be what list of string right so first we uh, we have taken like we will iterate through the strings right the elements one by one so first element is eat so first we will check okay we will take this one and we will sort this as if i've said so on sorting you will get a uh, aet right now you will check that in our hash map as of now our map is empty nothing is there so we will we will check if this uh, entry is there if this entry is not there so what we will do we will put this key we will put this key and along with the array list being created as of now i'm like putting like this along with the array list being created like this we are putting the value which is which is nothing but which is nothing but the sorted key and uh, uh, array list being created right like that and now what we are doing is that we are we will make sure that see we don't need the sorted values obviously sort we have to return values in this way only like uh, t e a t a t e and uh, e a t right so we you have to make sure that we are we are we are having this original value and we are just putting this we are putting this see here we are adding right map dot get value value is nothing but our key so uh, what is the see we have already this did this thing right so with this key what is the value associated an array list so in this array list we are adding the the current string that we have come across right next we will move further to next element that is t so again if you will sort t you will get aet so we will check in the map again that if aet exists in the map this time it does exist so no new entry is going to be created but yes in the existing entry what we are going to do is that we are going to append we are going to add uh, this value so map dot get value which will give you this array list which is containing one element and in this in this array list itself we are going to add t as well right then we will uh, see we will pick next element so this is it is 10 so we will check uh, we will sort this on sorting what you will get ant right ant you will get so ant exists in our in our hash map no right so a new uh, entry would be created in the hash map similarly uh, now next element is ate so ate on sorting again you will get aet so aet it does exist so no new entry is going to be created the element would be added in the array list right mm -hmm. then next element is nat so nat okay okay sorry this one also you have to add no addition i forgot yeah so next element is nat so nat on sorting you are going to get ant so does ant exist in the hash map yes this entry is there so no new entry is going to be created and this value nat is going to be added in our uh, in our array list now next uh, entry is bat so on bat on sorting you are going to get abt and abt not does not exist so yep a new entry would be added along with the value right so yeah this is the first approach that you can use for solving this problem now if if i am talking about the 
time complexity of this particular approach so you yourself tell me so what we are doing is that first loop we are having to iterate uh, all the elements one by one all the elements that we are having in the in the given array so if n elements are there so outer loop uh, n iterations right and inside the loop what we are doing is that we are picking up each string and we are sorting it and the worst case time complexity if you will consider for sorting is so let's say the size of the string is k so uh, on sorting the it would be k k log k right k log k so for each string we are doing this means for n elements we are doing this sorting process right so what would be the time complexity time complexity will be n k log k right where n is the number of um, strings or elements that does exist in the array and k is what k is the length of the uh, you can say the largest string or likewise fine and if talking about the space complexity so we are creating the entry for each string in the worst case there could be that each string like we are having all the string is unique so n entries are there and uh, again with each string is also having a size of their own so n k would be the space complexity of this approach now if if we will have a look on the code part so so this is the this is the code for the same this is the code this time uh, i've already like i didn't i'm not writing right in front of you just to perhaps to keep the video short maybe yeah so what we are taking is that we are taking a hash map where key is the string and value is the list of a string right and uh, we have to return list of list of string so we are taking this value here now uh, the outer loop is doing what is responsible for the iteration of each element that does exist in our stars array right and inside this what we are doing is that uh, we have taken this string let's say as of now we are on e80 so uh, this method we do have in java so it is doing what it is converting this string into an character array which we are storing in arr and now we are sorting this arr array the character array that we do have so we are uh, we are just sorting it and now the key is what is string not the array obviously we are taking so we are just uh, fetching out we are just creating a string out of this of this given uh, of this array which has been formed right and now here what we are doing is that we are just checking that if map does not contains the given key which is our string uh, value which is the sorted string value so if our map does not contains the key so what we are going to do is that uh, we are going to create an entry and uh, the value associated with this would be an array list and if it does exist then what we are going to do we are going to fetch that particular value uh, and we are going to further append the current element what we have came across right so like that we are doing inside this loop as if i have already uh, explained you in the dry run part even you can take a copy pen and do a dry run from your end to get a better understanding as if i have already mentioned this thing that just by watching the video maybe some of you can get it if you have already solved the problem and you are having the idea but uh, not for everyone so take a copy pen and try to understand no matter how much time is it is taking but don't give up try to understand right and at the end what we are doing is that so uh, we have to return those values now those values the values of the map they are having this group of anagrams right they are having this group of anagrams right here i explained you know so this these values basically we have to return which is nothing but the list of list we uh, we have to return so what we are doing is that uh, in our list of list string that we are having res result so this in result we are adding all the map dot values we are adding the values of our map right and here see they have clearly specified that you don't have to worry about the exact order you can return the answer in any order so this is the first approach now further optimization that you can do in this approach is that the better one i mean if you are thinking that okay is there any way i can further reduce the time complexity right so what you can do is that again we'll be iterating through all the uh, elements that we do have in our string array right now instead of instead of sorting it instead of sorting it what we can do is that we can 
take a array so here we are taking a frequency array as if they have specified we'll be having just lowercase characters or 26 alphabets we are having so frequency array size is fixed so this is you can say that this array is of constant space so we are taking this frequency array where we will store the count of each character if you have seen the previous value i believe if it is number one number two then this thing that you we are doing now you will be able to understand so that's why i'm i'm again and again saying do the problems in a sequence right so here we are storing the frequency of each character because see in in anagram how we are determining on the basis of frequency only no if the frequency of two strings of whatever characters being occurring is same then it means it is an anagram so here e a t you will see e has occurred once a has occurred once t has occurred once similarly in t a if you will see t has occurred one e has occurred one a has occurred once so the frequency is same right so we are just storing the frequency here so let's say the first character or first string is uh, e a t so here we have converted this into an array so the first we'll come across this e so e minus a you are doing if you will know the ascii value basically because okay 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 so frequency uh this is okay we have we have here we have taken the here we have taken it as a character uh character array so what we are doing is that whatever the value uh you are having just subtract a from it and at that specific place what you have to do is do plus plus means increment it that oh, okay on see the value that you are going to get that would be a number only but would be considered as a character because here we are taking a character array uh, so well is nothing but e right well is nothing but e so 97 belongs to a 98 belongs to b 99 belongs to c 100 belongs to d and 101 belong to e so 101 minus a we are saying that do 101 minus 97 so we will get an index right so at that index we are saying do plus plus means increment the value so by default the value will be correct or zero right so increment it to one that's what we are saying so that's how we are storing the frequency now what we are doing is that this the frequency array that we have got no the frequency array that we have got this time uh, so we are taking this as a string because that would be unique right that would be unique that here will act as a key for us so here again we are just checking that if map contains that value if sorry map does not contain so means put that frequency um the string which is containing the frequency of the characters so take this as a key and again the value would be same that array list and uh, again this append append part is the same only that we have seen in the previous approach right and again at the end we are just returning the values because that's what we need associated with a map now uh, you must be thinking that okay uh, now what is the time complexity of this particular approach if you will if you will think about it so again we are just going through all the elements of the array right so outer loop n times it will run inside the loop what we are doing is that that inside the loop see this loop is uh, will execute depending on the number of characters uh, we do have in a specific string so let's say we are having k characters so n into k we can say the time complexity of this particular approach which is better than that of nk log k right so nk would be the time complexity of this approach so that's how it is better than that of the previous one and in terms of space complexity for this approach the new uh, approach we discussed so that would be same only n into k because here also we are taking a hash map and this array which we are taking this is constant only right because just 26 a constant size we are having right so yeah these were the two approaches for solving this problem right so i hope you were able to understand if not watch the video again do a dry run and uh, you have got the logic so try to implement it from yourself right so yeah thank you so much for watching this uh, video everyone and guys keep going maintain the consistency bye bye